What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Sword and Shield and last time you guys checked in I beat Rayhan, the dragon type gym leader and now I have all of the gym badges so what's going to happen next? Well we got to face off against the champion at some point but surely something cool will happen before then right? Hey there Z Dog. Uh, you gave Rayhan a good thrashing and that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congra congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, I really wish we could go celebrate but I think there's some things we should talk over. All right, sure, let's go talk. Let's go talk then, let's see what you guys wanna talk about. That light that covered Hammerlock, it was just like the darkest day where it said that giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamaxed our Pokemon today using the energy from Wishing Stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. <laughs> Are you sure, Grant? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of it as uh, something to help you finish that work. All right, so what's gonna happen now? Whoa, Sonia is looking fine. <laughs> All right, cool. Professor Sonia, I'm gonna flirt with her, it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> the two heroes that protected the Galar region from the darkest day and the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. <laughs> I'll do what I can. You or Hop could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry. You can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on, head to the station, or you'll miss your train. Can I just fast travel to Winden? You did it, you got the Dragon Badge. Yeah, I did, I did, I did good. And you guys have done amazing too. Thanks for supporting this series. Over 20,000 likes in the first episode. I forget how many, like 28 now? I don't know. But thank you for your support. It has over a million and a half views. I'm gonna rest my, I don't think, I, do I need to rest them? I mean, they probably have already rested. I don't even remember. That's okay. It doesn't hurt to put them back in here. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I still don't know. I feel like I haven't completely fleshed out my team. I know that we're gonna get like one really cool one. Eventually, you know, it's it's on the box art. <laughs> when am I, when am I gonna, get, get, gonna get that one? I don't know. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Well, where do I go, how do I go to Winden? Take the train from Hammerlock. Oh, the train from Hammerlock. Okay, hold on. They want me to do the train. That's okay, whoa. Big, big place. The train from Hammerlock. So we are in Hammerlock and there's a train somewhere. Where's the train? I don't remember where the train station was. Here, let me get on the bike. Vroom, vroom. Well, you don't need to say that when you're on a bike. <laughs> That's when you're driving a car. Is the train station? I really don't remember where the train station is, my dudes. Oh, I do now. I do, I do, I do. It's all the way over here. Sorry, my bad. So, yeah. Um, you know, the cool thing about this game is that Shield has, like, two different gems or something like that. Than what Sword has, so you, if you're if you're playing uh, if you're playing uh, Shield and watching this series, uh, you're gonna get some unique gameplay stuff that you will have never seen before, unless you also play Sword. All right, so here I am. Wait up, Z Dog, I'm coming too. I had Raihan beaten no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. <laughs> How did he do that? How did he do that? That's not fair. Does he want to battle me too now? Right, huh? and you never stop uh, nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. All right, but your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you won for me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. All right. <laughs> I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Z Dog. Sure, I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you. Uh, Raihan to beat him. So, I'll bring, okay, so get a move on Z Dog. The train's waiting. So, where are we going now exactly, huh? Where are we going, huh? We're going back to Winden, right? Alright. We're tapping our feet, tapping our feet, talking on our phones. We're not talking to each other, we're on our phones. <laughs> Alright. We fi we're finally headed for Winden. Uh, there is a lot I want to check out there. There's a big tower and the monorail and Winden Stadium where the whole of Galar, no, the whole world is going to be watching us. All right. I'm, I'm focused on my phone, dude. You get it right. You and me, we're going to make our match. Uh, they're the greatest match that ever was. All right. Let's see if that's true. 
And here we are. All right, I'm back. Had to go play with my dog really quick. What's up, dude? Have I talked to you before? I think, did, are you the one who gave me a Pikachu? I wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Yeah, let's, let's, let's accelerate some global warming so it does. <laughs> uh, or not. Here we are. Did I have to take the train to get here? This is more snow. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made of snow. Bet there'll be ice type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Uh, okay, come on, Z-Dog. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. All right, peace out, mate. So what is this place? There's something. Two X attacks. All right, great. Oh, hey, whoa, what the heck is that? A koala? It's like a bear. Max revive. I don't want him. I want the other thing. Whatever else is here. Dang it, did the bear touch me? No, it's this. Okay, wild snom. I don't know. Did I try to catch one of these before? It's hailing, of course it is. Uh, so, what do we fight the snom? What do we stomp on? It looks stompable. Let's stomp on the snom. Stomp the snom. Dead. Good, I didn't want him anyway. <laughs> okay, so whatever. That was nothing. No one cares about snoms. No one cares about bears. What's up, dude? All right, do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. I don't think I do, I think I rested them up pretty well. Dr. Graham. Gardevoir. And that is, I have, do I have one of those? I don't know if I do or not. Uh, but the Gardevoir, is that a psychic? Let's see if it's a psychic or not. Um, it is, it's a psychic fairy, just like our dog is a psychic fairy. So it's gonna be weak against, uh, Bug, ghost, dark, but not dark because fairy cancels that out. So, and not, not bug because fairy carries that. So, ghost. It's going to be weak against ghost and poison. Hey, do you, go long, go, go lurk. Do you want to try something here? You can do a ghost attack, I guess. This would be fun, right? Here we go. Here we go. Go lurk. Hi. Gardevoir use Calm Mind. Man, I feel so soothed. Oh jeez, she's gonna have her special attack and, oh my god. Ow, the hail. Help! Ha, she got hit too though. Let's fight with a super effective, uh, any of these are super effective. Uh, which one's the worst or the best? I bet I outweigh her a lot, but Let's try this one, Phantom Force. Here you go. Oh, I'm, am I coming back? I'll be back. You can kiss nothing, you can kiss the air. I'm coming back. And she got hit in the face by hail. And so did me, so did I. Why, she avoided the, oh, no, I avoided the attack. Boom, Phantom Force to the back of the head. Blunt Force trouble. Faints his, <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, I got too into that one. All right, level up T-Dog. Dr. Graham has been defeated. My Pokemon ended up injured. Well, you're the doctor, you can stitch him up. So, here we go, onward. Can I ride my bicycle? This area looks dangerous, like I need to ride out of it quickly before something closes in on me. Sup, dude? Only do what you can. Taking risks while mountain climbing is dangerous. But let's not battle then. Let's, let me just have to get out of here, please. Hiker D Douglas. Steelix, that's a steel type Pokemon. <laughs> oh, it's a big boy. Yeah, big boy. All right, Steelix is here. Big boy. Um, Steelix is a steel type, right? Have I fought him before? I have not, but I'm assuming he's a steel type. Weak against fire, fighting, ground, maybe. I'm gonna switch over to, I could be wrong about him. I'm gonna switch over to Sea Dog over here. All right. Our dog is quickly becoming my most powerful Pokemon. I shouldn't neglect Sea Dog here, right? Iron Tail. Ow. That did not hurt me. I'm not a wimp. All right. We both got hit by hail, though. All right. I can catch any level Pokemon, by the way. He has two, so here comes Pyro Ball. Kick, 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 kick it. Got it. 
Boom. All right, Steelix, down for the count. Who next? Who next? I, I ask, who next? Uh, yeah, stop hitting with hail. God. All right, send out Mudsdale. That sounds like a horse that is made of uh, ground. Is it a, is it a ground type Pokemon? It is a ground type Pokemon. Ground type Pokemon are weak to ice, water, uh, grass. Let me switch to F Dog to do a, a grass move. Here we go. F Diggity Dog. Time to get it on. Well, not get it on, but you know what I'm saying. Time to fight with the grass move, please. I do have him having a grass move, so F Dog is fairly versatile. Here comes Mud's Bane or whatever, and hit it with a super effective Leaf Blade strategy. Here we go. Slickety slice. Got a Mudsdale diggity down. Critical hit, too, thanks to me. Mudsdale fainted. All right. Level up for F Dog and C Dog. Congrats. Hiker Douglas. You won't be able to beat a strong opponent without pushing the limits of what's possible. Speaking of what's possible, I've totally forgotten all about held items. And I gotta wonder. Uh, if we take a look at the bag. What other type of held items do I have? Pokeballs, battle items. These aren't them. What are, what are the held items? Berries, other items, are these the ones? Uh, heavy duty boots. Uh, black belt, fighting type moves, ooh. Zoom lens, accuracy. Uh, sunstone. Hmm. Kid Rock. Oh, King's Rock. Sorry. Shiny Stone. Luminous Moss. None of these are great. Crackpot. No. As for Steel, Spell Tag, Ghost Type moves. Here, you know what? I'm, uh, Go Lurk is gonna hold that, dude. Light Clay. Wise Glasses. Strawberry Sweet. Super Repel Focus Sash. Soothe Ball. Firestone. Incompatible. White Herb. Dynamax Candy. Whoa, I've never even thought about Dynamax Candies. Uh, doubles any prize money. PP up. Soft stand. Ground type moves. Grip claw. Uh, genius feather. Just uh, slightly increasing the special attack points will be good. Or defense. Uh, expert feather. Yeah, so we've come all the way around, basically. Sharp beak. Flying type moves. Bug type. Rare candy. Everstone. Yeah, we, we've about come all the way around. I don't know. I mean, like, I have some of these genius feathers... Uh, so, I don't know, man. Shell Belt, we could have someone hold this. Give it to T-Dog. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'll get it like an electric type move. I don't know. Let's just be cool. Let's just be cool, guys. I'm gonna be cool. Are we good? I think we're good. I'm cool. What's up? What's up? Who's next? I have one of those, don't I? Don't I have that? I think I do. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Did he touch me? I have one, right? Mr. Mime? I do. I don't need one of these. It's hailing, of course. I already have a Mr. Mime, right? I'm just gonna run. I don't know about any of this. This guy's big, though. Trainer tips, no thanks. Fine, fine, I don't think I've caught you, you're big. What is this? This is a, a bomb, it's just an ice. So if I'm gonna be in the ice, I might want to switch to fire. Hello, or, or yeah, fire would be good. Or fighting, or rock, or steel. Let's just, uh, you know what? Oh man, this guy's big though. Level 55, Obama Snow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch Pokemon here, dude. I'm gonna switch. Uh, well, we don't want to hurt him too bad. Hmm. Jeez, that guy's strong. Uh, let's uh, no, let's just stomp him. He looks like I mean, 
I don't know. Or we could do, what, what's the best? 90, let's do this 90 move, there you go. Here we go. Okay, I'll stomp him next turn, wood hammer. Ow, dude, ow. Dude, but you're damaged by the recoil, and we're both gonna be hit by the hail, probably. Let me go ahead then and try to capture him with an ultra ball, see if that works. Man, level 55, this is gonna be tough to catch this guy. I don't even know if I want him. He broke three, what, whatever. Uh, ingrain, in the membrane. It looks like he just farted. What does this do? Planted its roots, what does that mean? What does that mean, you planted your roots? What the heck is that, you're healing now with the... All right, fine, I'm gonna stomp you. Here, kaboom. All right, you're, you're a big boy. Blizzard might kill our dog. That's okay. I don't care. Sea dog's coming out, probably. All right, so use next Pokemon. Let's get this ca uh, capture going on here. All right, sup? You are formidable. I will try to catch. Can I catch ice type Pokemon? Huh. Oh, dude, I am. Uh... So here's some. I I am. Uh... I'm lower level than this dude. I don't, I don't know, man. This guy's big. Come on, you can stick in there. Yes. Obama Snow has been caught. That's a lot of XP to be shared by everyone. All right, so what's the deal? He's an, oh, he's a grass ice. Oops. If it sees any packs of Darumaka going after Snover, it chases them off, swinging its sizable arms like hammers. No nickname, although grass ice seems pretty cool. What kind of coverage does grass have that I don't already have? Oh, I do already, I, I already do. I can go against water, ground, rock. That's not a big deal. Send to the box, Obama. All right. Uh, oh, you know what I should do? I should consider reviving. I need to buy some more stuff, dude. I should consider reviving. Maybe a max revive. I don't know, man. I don't get a lot of those. So let's just do a revive. Use it on our dog. That way I can run if uh, you know I get anything else. And then uh, we got three potions. I'm gonna use them all on you. Actually, I'm gonna use one on Sea Dog. There we go. Goodbye, potions. We don't need you anymore. I can run. Whoa, whoa, get the. He's hopping to me. He's skipping over to me. Mr. Mime is no thanks. No thanks, Mr. Mime. All right. It's hailing. I know. I'm gonna run. All right. Peace out. All right, so I see you guys. You guys are goobers. What's up? I get more nervous about battles than work. All right, he's taking a selfie. Worker Ronald Weevil. Weevil is what? I always freaking forget what these things are that I've encountered like numerous times, but I should know at least whether or not my uh, my abilities. This is a dark ice type. So, uh, super effective, dazzling gleam of fairy attack against you. Adios. All right. Big boy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what is that from? That's from something. It's gotta be. I probably, I couldn't just make up the very clever big boy all on my own. Claydol. Claydol, Claydol, Claydol. I made you out of clay. <laughs> uh, Claydol is a ground psychic. Hmm. So that's gonna be weak against water, weak against grass, ice, uh, bug, ghost, dark. All right, let's give uh, let's give this one dude a little more uh, switch Pokemon. He has stronger ghost attacks. Go Lurk does. So here we go. I read that right, correct? Hope so. Let's do it. Claydol. Fight. Which one's better? I'm just gonna use Shadow Ball. It's weaker, but it's maybe better. I don't know. What do you think? I just wanna see the ball. Dang it, not good enough. 
All right, that's fine. Special defense spell. Earth power. Oh, that does look powerful, but... And plus I get hit by hell. All right, uh, let's do the uh, Phantom Force. Here we go. Oh no, that's the one I leave, that's right. This one's fun to watch, because nothing happens. I get hit by the hail, because I went really high up in the sky, but then I come back and pound him in the back of the head. That's like the lamest, like that's like that's the cheapest move. Not lame, it's really effective, but it's like the cheapest move. You just don't punch people in the back of the head. That's like against the rules on boxing. But uh, he's not a boxer, he's a street fighter, I have the feeling. Got you, Ronald. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, should I be called a battle man? No. You're a snowman. You're out in the snow for no reason. All right, what's up? Okay, we'll fight. I was trying to get past you. Do you know the old legend that says Galar is doomed if Corviknight ever disappear? I don't know that, but I thought about killing a Corviknight. Cabby, Jeffrey, Joffrey. Corviknight's coming out. That's a flying, I bet it's a dark flying, I would guess, because it's so dark. Corviknight is a uh, flying steel. What? Okay, so as a steel and a flying, it's gonna be weak. So, okay, uh, flying weak against electric, ice. Uh, we can try an electric attack. Let's switch over to T-Dog over here. We can do an overdrive, that'll be super cool. Uh, we fought Corviknight before. I should've just looked at my abilities, but I wanna do something a little bit different today. T-Dog's here, steel wing, get ready for it. Ow. Not very effective, is it? Now we're both hit by hell. Man, the, the hail going on right now is super not cool. Overdrive happening right now. Here we go, look at me move. I like sound. You're dead. Super effective. Corviknight fainted. Our dog leveled up again. I'm hit by hail. Oh, he's, he's, sending, he's sending something else out. Uh, Flygon, that's, that's the dragon type that we faced uh, when Raihan had it, right? It's a, a ground dragon. So dragon weak against ice, dragon and fairy. Uh, but make, let's make sure ground doesn't cancel out. No, ground does not cancel out the fairy. Uh, but ground is useless. Uh, electricity is useless. Uh, we could use ice, but I don't have any ice really. Uh, so let me switch back to our dog. So we can do that sweet, sweet fairy attack right now. And maybe we'll get a chance of hitting level 60 with our dog. So I need to level up some the rest of my guys. At least the ones that I have now, man. This is uh, getting crazy. Here comes Flygon. Fight. Dazzling Gleam. I'm so much more powerful than you. Goodbye, Flygon. Super effective, super cute, though. All right. Level up for D-Dog. He's level 52. Cappy Geoffrey. I actually don't know much about the old Corviknight legend. Yeah, I don't know either, man. Hey, what's gonna happen next? Let's go up here. Let's fight the... What are you? Oh, he wants to fight now. The post. I wonder just how long we can keep on carrying letters like this. Forever. The mail must go through. Postman Harper sends out what? Pelipper. This is just a bird. This is a flying bird. Is it just a flying Pelipper? Pelipper is... How do you freaking spell his name? With one L and two Ps? I spelled it totally backwards. Uh, water flying. Okay, great. So electric grass, no, it's just electric. Uh, that's my go-to. And you know what, I fought these before, I can see what's effective and what's not. Let's uh, switch Pokemon. I don't need to look at this, I fought them before. Uh, super effective, we're gonna see uh, D-Dog with a super effective Rock Tomb move, and T-Dog with a super effective Overdrive, which I'm gonna end up using, so we're gonna swap that. It's got two Pokemon though, so let's see what's gonna happen. All right, hey, T-Dog's here to fight. Tailwind. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. Okay, overdrive. Oh, water pulse is gonna hit me. Water's not good, is it? Oof. Oof. Here's overdrive, though. I need to get some more items. All right, super effective. Pelipper fainted. Who's coming out next? T-Dog's 51, though. Uh, Noctowl, that sounds like a flying type as well. A dark flying? Because Nocturnal, that's no, a normal flying. Weak against fighting, but also still weak against electricity because it's flying. So 
Uh, let's go ahead and uh, not switch Pokemon. Keep the current Pokemon. We'll hit him. I I'm probably gonna need by Hail, but here we go. Knock Towel. Uh, here comes a uh, here comes an Overdrive move. Dang it! Why does he have to go first? I want my speed up. T Dog, not very effective, but I flinched and couldn't move. Okay, Air Slash. Here we go. Another move. Ow! Don't make me flinch again. Here's the Overdrive. Man, I gotta heal a lot of guys. There you go, Knocked, uh, Knocked Owl is dead. Critical hit. All right. That's good, good on me, good on you. Experience points all around. Gotcha, Postman. I lost, when I think about it, I, I didn't want it to ever end. All right, that's fine. You can think about all you want. This place is dreary and icy and uh, we need, uh, we need super potions. Use them on Go Lurk. There we go. Uh, let's use a, I guess, a hyper one on T Dog. That's not bad. And then let's use a super one on R Dog just to get it healed. Now, once more, did I have something that raised my speed? Give that to T Dog. He's not holding anything else. Oh, that's, oh, wow, that's just my, oh, okay. Well, okay, yeah, sure, yeah, use that item, Clever Feather, boost the speed of T-Dog, twice, I guess. Oh, wait, that's special defense. What? Well, I thought I, I thought it was said speed. Oh, my God, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, what? Okay, I thought, okay, never mind, forget me. Power. Special moves. Is there anything that does... Speed. Is there something that, okay, the curious. Oh, but only allows use of one move, no thanks. Maybe that was a speed thing. What, what can, here, let's wear the glasses. You can be like a emo punk. All right, cool, whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, What's over here, Mr. Mime? Oh God, get me out of here, help, help, help. I found a Comet Shard, nice. Help. All right. All right, I don't wanna go this way. Mr. Mime's here though. Get out of here. Oh, what the freak? This guy's cool. Wow. Wild bear tick. All right, I'm assuming ice what? Ice what? Ice, it's just ice. It's a level 55 ice ice baby. Weak against fire, fighting, rock, and steel. Let's, uh, <laughs> here's, it'll be a fun one. Let's switch uh, Pokemon. Let's, uh, oof, I don't know. Maybe I could do a, uh, hmm. I'm worried because everyone else is going to be weaker than 55. Yeah, yeah. And the hail. I don't really want this guy, do I? Maybe I do. Here's another psychic hit. Now let's try to catch him. Superpower, what's that? Ow! That hoits. Not very effective, though. A critical hit, though, still not very effective. And what happens, dude? Your attack fell, your defense fell, you're buffeted by hail. I am too. Uh, so we're gonna try to catch you. You just look cool. I don't expect to have you on my party at any time, but sure. <laughs> Let's see if you can be caught by an Ultra Ball. Locked and loaded. Bear tick. Bar tick. Bear tick. Bear tick. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Um, so. Here we go. Bear tick will be added to the Pokedex. It swims through frigid seas, searching for prey. From its frozen breath, it forms icy fangs that are harder to than steel. Harder than steel. No nickname, you're going to the box. You're comfortable in those boxes, I've heard that. That's a rumor they probably say. It's propaganda, you probably... What's over here? A bottle of pee-pee up. All right, I don't wanna camp. All right, wait, what, wasn't there like a path down here or something? I thought there was another path. Get out of here, don't, don't follow me, don't, don't, ah! No, I'm not, okay. I can run away. Snover. No one wants to snover. 
It's hailing, I know. I'm gonna run. Alright, thankfully I have the runaway ability. This is my prime runner. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, because I thought I saw something down here. Power herb. Uh, oh, wow. It allows the holder to immediately use a move that normally requires a turn to charge. I do have stuff like that. But I kind of like going away. Anyway, let's, uh, hey, hey, bro. Yeah, let's fight, sure. Waha, Pokemon trainer, what should I do? I don't really want to battle. Well, here we are, we have to battle. We've locked eyes. He's Hiker Donald is sending out what? Gigalith. All right, I fought those before. Here comes our dog. It's hailing, of course. Sandstream. All right. I'm almost dead. I'm gonna switch Pokemon to whatever will be super effective. Fighting and grass. Uh, heavy slam. Uh, super effective liquidation. There's a lot of stuff going on here that's gonna be super effective. Let's let D Dog get some time to shine, just in case this works. I don't know. Here we go. Hello. All right, iron defense. Yikes. That's okay. Uh, let me just try it. Super liquidation or whatever. Super effective liquidation. Ah. Uh. All right, stealth rock. Sure. Here we go again. Let's go again. I'm just probably gonna take two more hits unless I somehow get a critical. Here comes Rock Slide. That don't bother me too much. All right. Got it. All right. Fainted. Who's next? Do you have another one or is it just me? This guy didn't really want to fight. Sea Dog leveled up. Our Dog leveled up again. That's beautiful. Uh, Rhydon. Now, Rhydon is a I don't remember I used to have a ride on like a previous game okay ground rock okay so a ground rock type is gonna be weak against water so I'm gonna just gonna keep this water and grass you know what I kind of want to keep uh, let's bring out grass let's switch Pokemon bring out F dog I'll hit him with that grass move that's a powerful grass move I think D dog needs to level up I'm, I need to give candies to my Pokemon they gotta be stronger than this Here we go. Leaf Blade, gotcha, buddy. This might be a one hit. Oh yeah, it looks like three, but it was just one. Super effective, a critical hit. Lucky me. All right. Now what? Hiker Donald's been defeated. I think I got mixed up somewhere around my first Pokemon. I guess so. Who needs to heal? Let me look at my bag. There's another guy over here. They're making us fight a bunch. Uh, let's see. Super potion, use this on our dog. That was okay. Let's use one more super potion. Okay, perfect. Uh, I need to get more, a lot of, I, I need to stock up on all sorts of stuff, basically. Uh, but let's look really quick at uh, what we have here. Uh, oh yeah, we have new dive. This is a uh, 8100 water move. Wait a second. Oh, but that's one that takes a while. Snarl is a dark move. Assurance is a dark move. Breaking swipe is a dragon move. None of my guys can learn dragon moves. Assurance is interesting in the, in the fact that it's a dark move. It's a 6100 dark move. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to see. This is a this is a 6100. You know, but this attacks multiple things, but that includes me. And I kind of like the idea of doubling the damage. I don't know. What do you think? Should I learn assurance over brutal swing? Because when it's a two on two, I never get to use this. 
I think so. I think I should get Assurance over Brutal Swing, maybe. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. I like that it does double damage after the fact. That was a TM. Alright, cool. Now, this Dive Snarl is a, a not great one. Breaking Swipe. Payback, Swift Focus. These are TRs. Payday, Beat Up. You know, I'm, I'm kind of looking at move, Brutal Swing. Oh, see, I have a Brutal Swing TM. There you go. Uh, Magical Leaf. Electro Web, 35, 70. Retali oh, that's a normal move. Ground, 35, terrible. 80, okay, this is interesting. This is a bug move. Leech Life, 8,100, dude. Oh, this is a TR. Drill Run. Uh, another TR, let's not look at the TRs. Cause I mean, they're good, but I mean, they're good. Ground, you know, I was talking about uh, Go Lurk not having a ground move. I could get, well, I don't know. Steel Wing is a steel move. F Dog can learn it, I guess. It's, I don't know. Vino Shock. I wish T Dog could learn it. Fly, Revenge, Snore, Bug, U Turn, 70. That's weird. Hex is a ghost move. T Dog can learn it. Rest, Draining Kiss. No one can learn it. Everyone can learn rest. <laughs> no one can learn that. Smart strike. Uh, aren't really brick break. We've already taught that to uh, F Dog. These uh, these try attack endure uproar encore. Uproar encore psychic feigns. Kind of, yeah, we don't want, we don't really want these, do we? Flamethrower. That's new. That's a fire move. Heat wave. Another fire move. Fake Tears, a dark move. Ice season. So the ice ones are interesting because, I mean, no one knows any ice moves. Uh, but we could have, uh, y you know, uh, Golurk learn an ice move if we really wanted to. So we're kind of back to where we started. Okay, well, that's, uh, you know, at least we made some progress. Let's now uh, go up here, fight this guy then, I guess. Hello. The, the way you carry yourself, you are something. All right, thank you. Gentleman Glenn. Darmanitan. That's a cool thing. I'm assuming it's an ice. But let me just look it up really quick and make sure. It is a Galarian standard mode. Is ice. Okay. So ice is weak against fire, fighting, rock, steel. Let's switch uh, just to give this guy... Uh, he has steel moves. Go lurk. We got a steel move. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. Taunt. I'm mad. I, I fell for the taunt. What does that mean exactly when I fall for the taunt? Let's do a heavy slam here. Here we go. Ha! That was a good one. Super effective. We both get hit by the hail. He has like three things, so sure, here we go. Taunting again, yeah, keep ta taunting me, whatever. I'm gonna heavy slam you. All right, super effective. What's up now? Go Lurk leveled up to 52 and Hammer Arm. Let's see what Hammer Arm is. It's a fighting move. None of us have, oh, it's 190 though. I don't know, man. 90% accuracy. I'm pretty happy with what I have now. Oh, Heavy Slam is the one that, that uh, talks about the weight. Okay. Iron Defense, I don't know, man. I, you know, Hammer Arm, Fighting. You know, I don't really ever use Iron Defense, but I'm starting to think maybe I should. I don't know. Phantom, these are both cool, I guess. I don't know. Let's just do, do I really want to learn? I don't think I want to learn Hammer Arm. I mean, we have power of 100, though. And it's a fighting move. It's a good alternative to F Dog, I guess. Oh, it lowers the user speed? No. No, forget it. <laughs> it's inaccurate and it lowers my speed? Come on. Who's next? I shook off the taunt. Uh, Phalanx. Phalanx is just a fighting type, right? If it is, and I think it is, uh, it's going to be uh, weak against. Flying, Psychic, and Fairy. So we can switch back to our dog. And so let's go ahead and switch Pokemon to our dog right now. Because we got both. I'm going to use the Psychic move. Or no, the Fairy move probably. That's my stronger one, right? The strongest. Here we go. Beautiful our dog. 
Here's Phalynx. Phalynx Navidad. Uh, this is the stronger one. 80, no, 90. Let's do the 90 then. Here we go. First impression. Do I forget my move or something? Is that what happens? Nope. I get to use Psychic. Goodbye. I knew it. Phalynx is gone. And then what happens here? F Dog leveled up. Hail again. Grap Lock. That's a fighting type as well, so I'm going to keep this. So he's using fighting. The other guy wasn't fighting, though, was he? It's too cold for a sea creature like you. I'm going to go ahead and just do Psychic on you. Here we go. Goodbye, Grap Lock. Super effective. I remembered him because I remember catching one of those, and he was chasing me. It was scary. D Dog leveled up again. Gentleman Glenn has leveled up. Oh, your Pokemon are simply marvelous. That's my best impression of him. Can I get out of here? What's okay? Well, hey guys, are you gonna film this? All right, it's been a while. I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Great Pokemon and trainers really shine with something special uh, when they're on camera. All right. Am I fighting one or two people? I'm fighting two, maybe. Challenged by interviewers Gillian and Cam. Which one has the can? Uh, Heliolisk and uh, Kling Clang. Dude, I don't know. They have two. Helio. Heliolisk is. I'm guessing a steel. No, it's electric normal. So that's going to be weak against fighting. Uh, so we'll use that. And then the other one is a Kling Lang. Kling Clang. Kling Clang. And uh, that is a. That's the steel type. And that one's gonna be weak against uh, fighting as well. <laughs> They're both weak against fighting. Uh, so the other one, which is uh, which is the electric uh, normal, we could also use ground. Uh, I don't really have any ground, that's right. No, we just have to use fighting. Fighting on them all, but hey, uh, there's nothing that says I can't use fairy, because fairy will hit both of them, right? Dazzling glow on both. And then who should I fight? Let's brick break, break. Uh, how about this one? I don't know. Here we go. Okay, the Heliolisk really took to that, so Kling Lang is going to get hit. Here comes Thunder. Oof, F Dog. That was a good one. Here comes Brick Break. Kling Lang's gone. T Dog almost leveled up. Hail again. Alright, so who's coming out next? Okay, I might swap out F Dog. Uh, Togedom. What? Oh, this is. Is this another electric type? I forget. But, uh, do I want to sw switch out? It's the electric steel again, isn't it? So, let's do the. Uh, sure. It says Dazzling Gleam, not very effective, but we're going to use it again. And then I'm going to use another fighting move on uh, Togedomaru. Here we go, Dazzling Gleam. That should shake, sh uh, take out Heliolisk. And then uh, here comes a fighting move. Probably level up our dog and T Dog. Magnetic Flux. Let's see. Should we learn Magnetic Flux? It's an electric move. Nope. <laughs> it sounds complicated. <laughs> so let's just forget that. All right. Here comes Brick Break right at you. Brick broke your little back. A critical hit. Oh, Iron Barbs. Ow. F Dog was hurt. So, who's coming out next? Because we're going to have to double team this person. All right. Got hit by Hail again. All right. Man, this R Dog F Dog team is doing pretty good. No Noivern? Whoa! That's a cool one. Uh, what is that? It says a dark flying? That would be my guess. Noivern, uh, dude, I don't even know. Uh, Noivern is a flying dragon. Oh, God. Flying dragon, uh, so forget all the basics. The fire, water, electric, grass. No, those can't be, but fairy can hit them. But flying, uh, yeah. So there we go. We got it. We figured it out. Here comes, uh, Dazzling Gleam. And then, uh, is it fly anything special? Electric, ice, I don't have ice. I don't have any ice moves. Rock, I don't have any rock moves. I could just go ahead and hit him anyway. What do you think? 
assurance. Maybe I do assurance. No, dragons. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 that'd be cool because he'll already have been hit by the Dazzling Gleam, so if he's still alive, he'll be assurance. He's already dead. <laughs> that was that was thinking, right? I'm thinking with my brain. All right. Here we go, there we go. Oh, she's about to swallow that mic. What strength, I'm at loss for words. Nice work, everyone. I lost, but it's all right. I was able to access, assess your strength. And you assess that I'm a very big boy. All right, here we go. What's up here? I'm gonna climb on a mountain here. What the heck is this place? It's a town. Almost, almost to a town. There's some birds flying around. Get on my bike. Can I go to the sides? Thank God, no. So we're in a new town. Winden, we're here, Winden. Here we are, Winden is, is nice. Holy cow, Winden is colorful and big. We're in a big town and lots of lights. Okay. This place looks familiar, I don't know why. But anyway, here we are, Winden. So what is up? Man, they got everything here. This is a big event. Okay, so let's, uh, here we go. All right, Winden City, this is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Galar region. That's it, I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Z-Dog, you should head there yourself. Oh, I will, probably, maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I go? I probably should. But let's check out the town. What's up? Wow, this Pokemon is huge. Everything's huge to you. I'm glad we live in a world where I can coexist with a giant Pokemon like this. All right, good day. All right, he's waving. I'm taking as many pictures as I can. They're like little slices of time. This Mr. Mime's name is Marcel. It's really amazing. I feel like my Pokemon always smiles uh, when we take photos together. If you're sitting, you have to stand up eventually, right? In the same way, even if you're defeated, sooner or later you'll get back on your feet. Hey, if you're living, you have to die, right? You can tell by you can tell Leon absolutely loves the battle. Just look at his smile. Pokemon trainers are really amazing. I mean, they can compete on the world stage. All right, cool. Uh, what's this guy say? If a trainer I'm cheering for loses, it really brings me down as if I'm the one who lost. Even if the match itself has nothing to do with me, that's what it means to be a supporter. Yeah, guys, so uh, that's, I, you guys probably feel the same way watching me play video games. It must be nice to be a supporter of someone. It's not easy to be so dedicated to a stranger. That's true, you guys can always become supporters by clicking the join button on my channel <laughs> if you want to. It must be nice. Uh, better to raise it from, charm, from a Charmander. You'll form a stronger bond that way. I'm gonna join the gym challenge too with my very own Charizard. All right, yeah, better raise it as a youngin, I guess. Stronger bond. I need to rest my Pokemon for reals. I need to buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, so let's rest him first. Here we go. Thank you. Thanks for waiting. I yeah, you'll you, one of you will see me again. You're all clones or what's the deal? I'd like to invite some of my some of the fine trainers flourishing in Galar back to my own region. I came all the way from Unova, so I might as well give everything a try, including Poke Jobs. I've never done a Poke Job. There's a Rotom in that machine. True. So we gotta buy stuff. Clear the gym. Yeah, I can buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, so let's see. I'm here to buy. Uh, we need Ultra Balls. Let's buy 20 Ultra Balls. There you go. I'll get two Premier Balls. I'm gonna buy uh, basically 20 Hyper Potions. Uh, 10 Full Restores. Fourteen max potions. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh, some revives. Here we go. Let's get twenty revives. I spent all my money basically, and then uh, 
No, I'm, I'm good. Uh, what is this other guy selling? I'm here to buy. Oh, wow. Uh, repeat balls. Okay. Quick ball, luxury ball. HP up. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I can just boost my points up. So, yeah, that'll be later, probably. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thanks. Uh, I could probably sell stuff, but I don't really need the cash right now, so I'm going to hoard it like a big old dragon. All right, so, uh, where, what was that? Where's, where's that sound? The stadium. This, this town is too big for me. Let's get on the bike. There you go. So that's the way to the stadium, I suppose. I got my eyes on Wyndon Stadium. What's this place? Oh, it's a train station. Okay. I don't need to take no train anywhere, I guess. I want to do an entire loop of the Galar region. What a better way to start than the Ferris wheel. A Ferris wheel, but I'm afraid of heights. What do you have? Another Pokemart. Sell the same stuff. Get out of here. No. Get out of here. I guess I'll go up here. Holy cow, what is this stuff? I would like to go nowhere. I guess. I don't know, man. What... So according to this, you can't reach Rose Tower unless you take the monorail. All right, I guess I'll do that. My Pokemon love music more than just about anything else. When they hear anything with a sick beat, they can't stand still. They're off like a shot. I like sick beats too. You get so caught up in the action of the matches that when you're in the stadium, you f that you forget to eat. I don't know about that. I eat a lot when I go to stadiums. All right, uh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, do I go to the Rose place? I mean, like maybe I should come back here. I don't know. I can't ride my bike in here, that's not fair. I wanna ride a bike down the stairs. All right, well, let me go look at whatever. Let's just go look. Are these stores? No. All right, what's up, guys? I can't even keep my siblings under control. I don't think they could handle raising six Pokemon. I'm pretending to be Phalanx. What are you pretending to be? Oh, <laughs> I'm pretending to be Flinks too. All right, uh, there's an item over here. Max Revive, good. I just bought several of those. Someone's in the telephone booth trying to become Superman. Hello, yeah, I got tickets for front row seats in the stadium. Come on over. Mr. Rose used the power of his company to turn the city into a tourist spot, but without ruining the historical buildings and streets. Oh, good. How many companies does Mr. Rose own again? Not enough. Let's go in here. People are eating, I will talk to them. Even if I get lost, it's fun to reach your destination by using the town map. Some people in the city, I get, I got lost, but thank goodness for the flying taxi. So many people in the city. Palpa Toad, you've had too much to eat, are you okay? I'm training so that I can become huge too and help defeat Dynamax Pokemon. Maybe I should go have some max raid battles in the wild area before the match starts. Well, you see, we depend entirely on Pokemon that come to us for the Poke jobs at our hotel. I can do jobs for Poke that Pokemon can't do. For example, uh, I don't know, but I'm sure there's something I could do. These guys, they're stealing our gerbs. The Pokemon are stealing your gerbs. What's up? Me? I've been a fan of Leon since he first participated in the gym challenge. Anybody can say things like, I've been a fan for a long time, or I've watched all of his matches. It doesn't prove that you're a real fan. Is this a store? It is. I'm only going in to talk to the people. I really wanted a kid-sized version of Leon's cape, but they're all sold out. You're bigger than that. All right, everyone should wear costumes, then we'd be best friends with our Pokemon. I wonder if they have any costumes that look more like the Pokemon they're supposed to be. I am trying to uh, figure out where the heck I'm going. There's a barber shop over here. There's, what's, hey lady. Marnie gave me her autograph just now. It's my treasure. So many people, it's a little intimidating. Indeed, it is. Oh, he doesn't want to talk. Why, why, why would I think he wants to talk? This place is huge. All right, each Pokemon has a different type of fur, so I've got a lot to learn. If you win, it's time for a makeover. If you lose, it's also time for a makeover. It's all about your mood. 
I can't remember where I saw them, but I'm debating whether I should go with a hairstyle like a sword or a shield. Maybe a sword. Yeah, I think you would look good with a sword hairstyle. Or maybe a shield would look better on you. I think I think I could rock a sword hairstyle myself. Alright, so that place is big over there. What in the heck is over here? Let's get on that bike of mine. Is this towards the stadium? Wait, I saw I, thought I saw an item. Oh, it's right here. I gotta I got I gotta I gotta get off. A blog of black sludge. Oh, okay. It gradually restores HP to poison type Pokemon. It damages any other type. Okay. I could give that to uh, that one dude, probably. Oh, there's something else. A nugget. Oh, boy. Let's go back. This is crazy, guys. I might have to ride that monorail. But there's some sort of a big thing over here. What the heck is this? Isn't this a huge Ferris wheel? It's known as the Galar Hurricane. Don't listen to my sister. She's just making things up. <laughs> well, I thought it was the Galar Hurricane. Bridges connect two separate things, so they can be seen as symbols of friendship, too. Cool. People just spawned in. Okay, you got a Corviknight, you got a taxi service. If you want to get around Winden, you've come to the right flying taxi. Where'd you like to go? Uh, never mind. I want to see what this place is all about, dude. This place is big. There's something else in the corner. Big nugget. I guess I got, I guess I want to give him in the bag. I want to, I, I want to give him that new held item. Uh, is it a treasure? It's a uh, other items, right? It's gonna say new on it, probably. Black sludge. So give it to T Dog because he's a poison type. And then we can give the uh, wise glasses to uh, our dog. Sure. All right. Oof, this place is big. This kind of Pokemon carried us all the way to the hotel. You've got to give it to Mudsdale. I've never seen it overloaded, no matter how many people are riding it. All right, good, good job, Mudsdale. You're living the best life. When I truly, when I see a truly amazing battle, it fills my whole body with energy. I've got all the respect in the world for trainers who can put on matches like that. Pokemon that work in the hotels and Pokemon that participate in battles, they all have a sharp look to them. All right, this is a big hotel. What am I gonna find here before we go to the stadium? This place is freaking huge. Welcome. Uh, being a doorman is a lot of work. It doesn't matter how many people come and go, mistakes are unacceptable. That's why we have Pokemon helping us out too. You would think the Pokemon would make the mistakes. I came to Galar on my uh, braviary instead of my private jet, but I must admit it was a little tiring. I know my wife is complaining, but she actually loves traveling with her Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Do I take the elevators up? How, like, what is gonna go on here? You know what I mean? A celebrity watching any match is sure to get everyone interested. I was invited by Marco Cosmos to come watch the matches. All right, three people here. I wanna see what's over here. Can I go over here? No. Sup. I'm a professional concierge. I'm more than happy to assist Pokemon, even if we don't speak the same language. Welcome to the Rose of Rondelands. We pride ourselves in offering five-star service that is beloved throughout the world. It's important to always be smiling. My legs are feeling a bit swollen, though. <laughs> All right, can I not go up? Okay. Thank God. I actually did not want to explore the hotel right now. I wanted to get to the stadium, but I mean, like, like they gave me a big hotel. But let me take the monorail now. <laughs> I guess. Or oh, I could travel to the monorail. Here we go. Let's go to the uh, monorail. All right, here we go, Corbin Knight. Take off. Take me there. All right, Gov, here we are. To the monorail. So I gotta find out what this is because there's one part that we could only access via the monorail. Is that true? Uh, the rose window. What, wait, what could only be accessed by the monorail? Oh, the Rose Tower. No, I've already gone. Okay. So wait, how do you, okay. 
I'm confused. I'm, I'm good. I guess we're going to go to the stadium now. And we'll see what happens. And I'll just drive there because... Who knows? Oh my god, are those homes I can go into? Oh. <laughs> Alright. My mom and dad both work for the league. They're always away for champion matches and, well, it's boring here on my own. You got a bird thing to play with. You shouldn't be so bored. Alright. Someone else is home. What are you guys arguing about? The champion's been a great boon to trainers. This sport has really taken off thanks to him. Plenty of trainers see his matches and get fired up thinking I like to be like him. It's like a global festival whenever the tournaments or the champion cup are on. People in Pokemon come from all over. Alright. And then, uh, jeez, there's so many houses. The truest evolution for Pokemon is, I believe, becoming part of the team of true friends as they live together and grow close to humans. Someone better give me an item before I freak out. I clean so that I can properly appreciate the beauty of flowers. Alright. What are you watching? If I make it uh, uh, up on the stadium's big screens during the finals, then the whole world will know my face. Alright. Sup? Hmm, seems I've run out of time to reread all the books I've got on my shelves. But even looking over the spines and reading the titles brings back lovely memories. These guys don't have anything really important to say. I'm just going through each one. There's like a big place over there too. Okay. I'm searching for a Frozmoth. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? If you do, I can trade it for my Duraludon, please. Do I have a Frozmoth? I don't. I never caught one. Because guess what? I didn't like him. I didn't like the Frozmoth. So I didn't catch one. What's this? Well, that guy would have been trading me something at least. It can be, it can seem a, a wee bit harsh having it broadcast for all to see whether you've won or lost, but it's also a fine chance to understand exactly how strong you are if you care to. I'm gonna be super strong, super tough. I'm gonna win. Everyone's gonna be my best friend. It said it's saving. Is it still doing the auto save? Well, now what's this? I see you have a Rotom phone and a bike. That means you must already know that the Pokemon Rotom absolutely loves to jump into all sorts of different motors. If you want to find out how a Rotom enters motors, then try to best uh, my very own Rotom. What? Perhaps, okay, what? Prepare to be confounded by all the various forms of my dear Rotom. Oh, I'm fighting. What? League Staff Isaac. What is, what, what did he say? Rotom, there's a Rotom? What? I'm fighting Rotom? What? Okay, I didn't know Rotom was even a thing. Rotom is a Pokemon. I, mean, I did, I guess. Uh, so this is the Mo Rotom. It's the Electric Grass. So it's gonna be weak against Fire, Ice, Poison, Bug, and you know what? It's so weak. Let's just stomp it. Let's just stomp it. Well, it's still doing good though. Will O Wisp is gonna hit me. I'm burned. Great. I gotta heal. Heal that. Let's do... Let's do a psychic move. Here we go. It's called psychic. Alright, Rotom fainted. Goodbye. And we get minor XP. I'm burned, I know. Who's next? About to send out another Rotom. So keep current Pokemon. I guess he's sending out different types. Oh yeah, this is a, uh, that's the Wash Rotom, right? That is an electric water type. So I'm just gonna hit him again with Psychic, probably. Here we go. Boom, he's level 34. So I can't believe they're making me face off against level 34s at this juncture in the game. But yeah, I'm burned. All right. Uh, Rotom again, sure. Just keep the same Pokemon, whatever. All right, here comes another Rotom. This one is a Heat Rotom. This is an electric fire type, so... Psychic, right? Probably, right? The Elementals, you know, so they don't care about Psychic, so... Get ready to, to die. I mean, they, they don't... Oh, what? 
used Hex. How do you still alive? Ow. Alright. Alright, little twerp. Stomp. There we go. He looked quite stompable, so. Got him. Alright, was that worth it? I don't know. But Rotom changes its types and moves when it changes its form. Alright, I knew that. So I guess it has different forms. You defeated every one of my Rotom. You should be able to put this catalog to good use. I obtained a Rotom catalog. Alright. A catalog of devices that Rotom likes. Use the catalog to have Rotom hop in and out of various devices listed within. If you use the Rotom catalog, it will let Rotom enter all sorts of home appliances. Oh, of course, Rotom can get out again. Alright. Wait, can he go into like a TV? Hold on, what, what is this Rotom catalog? What is the Rotom catalog? Alright, it's in the key items huh? section. First up, let me go ahead and just... Medicine, let's do a burn heal, and uh... So who knows what else is going to happen. Use that on F Dog and go, go and give him a... I, I, I'll just give him a super potion just in case. Did I not? Okay. Sure. Do... Okay. Key items. What? Listed within. I'm trying... What? I don't even understand the Rotom catalog. I don't get it, dude. Maybe I need a roto. I don't know. It, do I still have auto save on? Uh, text speed auto save is on. I thought I turned it off. All right, because I've been manually saving like this. There we go. All right, so that guy was cool, I guess. This last house. Oh wow, Halucha! That's it. That's a ticket. Maybe we can do a bit, uh, do a bit sharper the next time. All right, he looks pretty cool up there. I don't understand the Rotom thing. Anyway, we gotta go over here now. There's something else over here. My God, I'm going for a picnic with my Pokemon. Good. I saw something over here though. There it is. What? Can't get through. I need that item, whatever it may be. I need that item. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. This is mall, big, big important. Grassy seed, an item to be held by Pokemon. A boosty fence can only be used once. There's something over here too. Rare candy. Now I do need to boost up my Pokemon all around. All right, I think we're pretty much done over here. I need to go, oh wait, hold on. All right, let's go, let's go up to the court over here and see what these people are doing. Much obliged. Ugh, excuse me. Moves that only select Pokemon can learn. They are called ultimate moves. Do you want your Pokemon to learn? Yes. Dude, I don't know. See, oh, is this is he gonna teach the grass type move? Cause I mean, like, all right, I think he wants to learn the blast burn. Okay, the user can't move next turn. Well, we should think about this because right now I have this one which I just kind of kept around, but I don't really don't need it. One fifty, dude. But not being able to move is hilarious, I guess. Let's forget the uh, flame. I don't know. I mean, let's forget the flame. I don't really use a flame charge anymore, you know? Let's forget it. There we go. Flame charge. How you handle its overwhelming destructive power and its aftermath will be the key. All right. What's up? What's up? Raihan likes to use Sandstorm first. I'll use my speedy Pokemon to defeat any Pokemon that try to change the weather. All right, so now we're finally moving up to the stadium over here. Oh my God, what's up? 
Growlithe, I'll race you to the stadium. I wonder how many houses would fit inside Windon Stadium. It depends on how big the houses are. You never know the weather until you wake up. You never know who will win until it's done. That's a good way to say it. Kentonians and Galarians both seem to like waiting in lines. Great matches will always be remembered by the crowd. Everyone in the world watches the same match. That means everybody in the world can talk to each other about the same match. Water cooler talk. Oh, there's Team Yell over there. I think the reason why we feel restaurant food is so much better than normal food is because of the novelty of it all. Might be all the salt and fat that they put in it. Big sticks of butter. He says he likes uh, someone who's fun to be with, even when they're eating their usual food. I wasn't thirsty at all, but all of these juices look so good that now I feel parched. All right, what is going on over here? Okay, okay, so they, they, he's not selling, he's just talking. All right, so these guys are just talking. Yeah, the weather's perfect for a match. The, the league cards are all sold out. Last but not least, I can talk to this guy. I'm not gonna go into the stadium just yet. I just, I wanna enter as a challenger. So, let me go ahead and uh, rest up my Pokemon, make sure they're all perfect. I really don't know who all should be in the lead, but I'm, I'm inclined, if I gotta go in here, I might, I might need to raise the XP of a bunch of different Pokemon, and I don't know who all... When are we gonna get the Pokemon on the cover of the game? Thanks for waiting, Rapidash and the rest should be all better now. They are fine. Sup? Loads of people come for the final, so they make a big fuss about security, and I'd really been hoping to get off duty to see a match for myself. Keep us safe, officer. I'm planning to have that old man in Churchester teach me the move Draco Meteor. If you hang around Pokemon centers enough, you might be lucky enough to meet a challenger, like me. All right, I guess we're gonna go in there and see what's up. Just this place is so big. Hi, hey, Team Yow. We're gonna stay out of trouble this time. I mean, we wanna watch the matches too. What say you? We'll show you the full power of Team Yell. All right, so what's gonna happen over here? This is exciting, right? I won't lie, I started cheering for Leon because my child is a huge fan. Well, I'm gonna beat Leon, so cover your child's eyes. Char Charizard's max flare is different from any other Pokemon's. Leon, Leon, the greatest champion ever. Leon, Leon, will he be beaten? Yes, by me. My sister keeps singing Leon's cheering songs. Welcome, Challenger. Please battle to your heart's content. All right, well, here we go. Let's go inside. Uh, what's gonna happen? We're at the stadium. Is this the champion battle? Pokemon League HQ. Hey, Marnie. My girlfriend over here. This is it. I really made it. I made it through the gym challenge. There might be four remaining in the semifinals, but I'm the one who's gonna win through and battle the champion. I feel like J Challenger Z Dog has a balanced team, but he doesn't have any way to decisively win. You know? Yes, I do. Don't. Don't trash talk me. I guess the champion is going to extend his winning streak again. Yeah, right. No way. It's going to be me. I'm going to win. Ball guy. Hey there. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I can tell you're following your dreams, and that means you've guessed it. I got a Pokeball for you. The dream ball? Uh-huh. It is a dream ball. What does that do? It's somewhat different Pokeball that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon while they're asleep. Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but did you ever want to be even easier? Well, the Dream Ball will make your dreams come true. Have your Pokemon use hypnosis or yawn to put the opponent to sleep, and then give it a try. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? All right, what do these kids want? Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but... Oh, hold on. I'm talking to the ball guy again. Hop wants to talk to me. Stop talking to me, ball guy. Hey, lady, what's up? You've been here like Challenger Z Dog. Remember, the semifinals and finals are just speed bumps on your way to facing Leon. You have to win. It's the ball guy. Who are you on the inside? <laughs> oh, hop. What's up? This is the reception desk. Turns out I was first to register for the Champion Cup. In other words, I'm already number one. It's pretty much in the bag that I'll win this thing. No, I'm number one. It's on my jersey, hop. Z Dog, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. He just wants to he just wants to fan fangirl over it. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Bean couldn't make it hard luck. Somehow, I don't think he just take being disqualified lying down, you know what I mean? I get I guess it is what it is. Come on, Z Dog. We should head to the locker room. 
I think he's gonna be the new challenger of the fairy, right? Attention gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Uh, I guess I'm ready, right? Probably, probably I'm just ready. I'm probably as ready as I'm ever going to be. I'm sorry, but only authorized people are allowed to enter here. It's time for the semifinal. Okay, yeah. Please head for the pitch. I think I'm ready. Uh, no, I'm not ready. I'm gonna, yeah, if we're gonna be doing this, and this might be a long episode, I'm gonna go ahead and in my bag, start using some XP stuff that I got here. Um, where's my XP stuff? So I have a bunch of these and a, a couple of these. Uh, you know, our dog is super strong. If we're gonna even want D-Dog here, we should probably give him a large, like three large candies. He's level 55 now, that's much better. All right, T-Dog, you're gonna want some too, right? Three large candies coming up. He's also level 55. C-Dog should probably also take the last large candy. 54. Double edge, sure, maybe, but maybe not. What what kind of move is double edge? It's a normal. Another 120, 100. No, but it damages the user. I'm not all about that. I want to give that up. All right, that's fine. Uh, we can use some mediums. Again, I don't know, man. Ten, ten medium candies on, on Sea Dog. Level 57. That's not bad. Uh, I mean, Gildark's just here. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna even be on my team long term, you know. But might as well give him two. Level 53. Let's give him one more. I want him up to 55 as well. Okay, 54 is fine. Or we can give it. Let's do it one more time. All right, he's 55. Uh, everyone's 55 now. T Dog, let's give him three more mediums. He leveled up to 56. Uh, let's give one more to C Dog, because he's almost there to 58. There we go. Alright. Cool. I think we're good right now. Uh, everyone's kind of leveled up. I'm gonna do a, just a save, I guess. Since I, I turned off man, auto save, let's do it. Let's see what we're made of. I don't even know how this is gonna go, but let's see what we're made of. Okay, this is scary. This is the champion stuff going on. Who am I gonna even face off against? I don't know. I don't know what this even means. Here we go. Oh, it's Marnie. All right, you had to face off against my girlfriend right off the bat. Heh. <laughs> I knew you get all the badges to meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us, what with my big brother, Team Yell, helping Spike Muth and all that. But the truth is, when all's said and done, I just really want to become the champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. <laughs> all right. I will do something to you, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, let's do what we got to do. Pokemon Trainer Marnie. Now, she... I totally forget. She used Dark-type. Lipard is coming out. I think she uses dark type, but the thing is I already know What she's weak against so uh, The cool thing about facing off against these is I already know this stuff. I gotta win this if I'm gonna be the champion I'm coming at you with everything I got Same uh, So super effective dazzling gleam against this Torment though. Don't torment me. Don't yell at me. I don't like cats yelling at me. I'm subjected to torment Well, you're gonna be subjected to my dazzling gleam And you're dead you dead all right great who's next toxic croak uh i think we keep battling right keep current pokemon i think toxic croak our dog is is becoming super useful have i faced off against this before i have super effective psychic move do you think she's gonna dynamax as well at the end Goodbye, good riddance. All right, our dog is leveling up like crazy. Scrafty, we're gonna keep current Pokemon. This is going super well. All right. 
Dazzling Gleam. We're just switching it up. There we go. Super effective again. All right, <laughs> our dog leveled up. More Pico. Uh, keep, I think keep. I, I forget who more Pico. What what it is? But it, you know, it should tell me because I fought before. So if this isn't it, I'll switch Pokemon. Not a big deal. Uh, super effective, dazzling gleam. Oh what? D oh, due to torment. Well, I'm just gonna stomp you then. How about that? Here comes a stomp. There you go. I'll do one more of those. He flinched and couldn't move. He's gonna get angry though. Oh yeah. Fine, dazzling gleam then. All right. I'm surprised. Uh, okay, Morpico fainted. That was fine. Who's next? Grim Snarl. Uh, who is Grim? Let me look up Grim Snarl really quick. I don't remember who Grim Snarl is. Grim Snarl is a Pokemon. It's a dark fairy. That looks creepy, dude. This one can Gigantamax, right? Because she's gonna be doing this probably. If it's a dark fairy, it's gonna be weak against uh, fairy move still. But I just use a fairy move. Uh, we could do a poison move, or a no. Steel. I could do a steel move, dude. I don't know. Uh, uh, dang, dude. Um, Psychic is nothing. Is is immune. I'm gonna switch Pokemon, dude. I think I'm gonna switch Pokemon because I can't do the same move. But wait, what if uh, does what's the fairy move? That's not the same move. Here, but I'm just gonna. Oh, I guess I'm here. I got everyone's cheers back at me. I'm really, really gonna win this time. Got it, dude. You're not gonna win. Oh, that's a cool looking Pokemon, though. All right, fight, Dynamax. Please tell me I can do that. All right, here we go. Watch, watch me be off. Like maybe this isn't one that, that Gigantamax is. And I'm just doing this. I hope, please, I mean, please tell me that she's gonna Gigantamax, Dynamax her as well. Here we go. Don't yell. Don't yell. It's super loud. Our dog is so big. My bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon if it's to win. All right, Grim Snarl's coming out then. Got to fight against Marnie. All right. That is an awesome looking Pokemon. All right. Wow, okay. Here, here comes my Max Starfall though. One hit wonder. Got you super effective. I think Bead's gonna, do you think Bead's gonna be? No, Bead's not gonna be here, he's not a challenger. All right, but I won. Sorry, Marnie. We can still go on a date later. All right, there we go. F dog leveled up to 59. And our dog is really, really doing a good job. All right, there we go. Okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of the good points of you and your Pokemon. Yep. You did. I like your hairstyle, though. Okay, well now we must hug. We must hug. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my, my brother in the stands, and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. You better cheer for me, Marnie. Who's next? Well, that was fun. z Dog. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battle, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. All right. All right, so now what? What's gonna happen next? Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, we like you back on the pitch. Okay, I don't know what happened to Hop. Maybe he's, he's juicing, man. He's using steroids or something. How's he doing so good? He was a terrible fighter every time I fought him. Who am I up, up against this time? Let's see. 
Oh, it's Hop. Okay, great. He beats... Who, who did he beat? <laughs> who did Hop beat? All right, Hop, you're going down. I, I just had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember back when we were still in Potswick? Uh, Postwick? When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day? I never would have dreamed that i end up standing here facing you of all people. But it's time I finished what I started that day. Got it? The one who'll become champion is me. <laughs> Little does Hop know it's going to be me. It's going to be me. Hop is going down. Start digging your grave, Hop, because I'm going to put you in it. Here we go. Pokemon Trainer Hop. Let's do it. Dabool. Now, we fought a Dabool before. So our dog may not be the one who stays in here. But we, we got this. We battled back in the garden, but I'm really, really fired up for this match in the stadium. All right, so he has five again. So uh, none of these are great. So I'm going to switch Pokemon. Uh, super effective Brick Break. F-Dog's going to bring it. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, Cotton Guard. All right. Here comes Brick Break. All right. Who's who's next? I want to be prepared. All right. I knew you'd be aiming for a super effective hit. Yeah, of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Why did you defend yourself? It wasn't gonna work ever. All right, T-Dog leveled up to level 57. All right, uh, Corviknight. So that is, uh, that's the bird. Wait, uh, which, 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 uh, which type? It's a flying steel. So Corviknight is weak against electric. So we're gonna be, we're gonna bring that. We're gonna, I'm gonna bring out uh, T-Dog here. Here we go. And I'm gonna do the overdrive. All right, here comes Corviknight. Thankfully, I'm much higher level. All right, we're ready, unnerve. I can't eat no berries. Here comes a super effective overdrive move. Punk rock, baby. Corviknight's down for the count. All right. Now what? Uh, Snorlax. That's a normal. So I'm gonna. That's gonna be a fighting move. I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch Pokemon's and bring out uh, uh, F Dog for his fighting capabilities. All right. Get ready to rumble. Hop, you're going down. Okay, I just had to yell it at him. All right, here's Snorlax. We're gonna fight with Brick Break. Super effective Brick Break fighting move. I go first, because I'm the best. Boom, karate chop your big belly in half. We won that fight. Who's next? Who be next? All right, who's next? Uh, Pin Churchin is, that sounds like, uh, how do you spell that? P-I-N, it's right there. I've, I've looked at this guy up before. I don't remember him, though. Oh, it's the electric type. So, ground. Yikes. I don't have a ground. I still don't have a ground. I still... So, anyone but uh, flying and steel, you know, so, whatever. We could be fairy. We could switch to... I mean, we could do, like, one of my most powerful attacks. Oh, we could do fire against electric. That won't matter, right? But he's only 58. But still... That's, uh, 58's good. We're gonna do the... Probably the... Uh, let's do the Blast Burn. No, no, let's do Pyro Ball. Here we go. I don't know. Just an idea I had. I probably could have just, I probably could have stuck with T-Dog, whatever. T-Dog hasn't gotten, like, hardly any love lately in the past several episodes, it seems. All right. It's such a small thing. You don't want, now that, you know, that does not look stompable, honestly. Because, look at it. It has spikes all over. You don't want to step on that. All right, what we got? Boom, instant death, I love it. All right, now his big bad guy coming out is gonna be that grass type, right? So I'm gonna stick with the fire type, uh, and I think it's gonna be grass. I'll, I'll double check, but I think I'm gonna stick with the with this type. Rilla, no, Rilla Boom. yeah, Rilla Boom is, is the uh, grass type guy, right? 
Uh, and this is going to be the one that he Gigantamaxes. So Grass is weak against Fire, Ice, Poison, Flying, Bug. I'm happy with this. I'm going to just keep the current Pokemon. We will... Thank you, back me into a corner. No way, this would make my victory all the better. No, you gotta kill like six of my Pokemon, five of all six of my Pokemon to win now. It's funny that I'm allowed to have more Pokemon, but whatever, Rillaboom is gonna go down. I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna uh, Dynamax, and you know, looking at these, 140, 150, 130, oh, 150, really? Sure, let's do the 150 one, how about that? Just to make sure it's extra good. Here we go, Hop. This will teach you, Hop, to challenge me. Oh, boy. Look at me. I look pretty sweet. Holy God. Sea Dog. Oh, my God. You're so small. Release all of the thoughts poured into my wishy star. Time for Dynamax. Now, is your Rillaboom going to make it like a really cool form or something? And if so, I got to question how you got that. You steal it, you juice him. He looks kind of normal, right? I can't, uh, he looks kind of normal, Never mind. <laughs> Maybe, I can't tell. All right, I go first, right? Please say I go first, because I want to hit him first. Here you go, Max Flare. Rilla, boom! Dead. Totally dead, it's super effective. That was great, the sunlight turned harsh. And the Rillaboom fainted and hopped. That's the last page of your legend, dude. Everyone's gonna read it and give it a thumbs down. Leveled up Sea Dog and Go Lurk. Cool. All right, that was awesome. Now I'm gonna beat your brother just like I beat you. All right. He looks upset. I would be too if I were him. Sea Dog. Thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. You're seething. And the victor, we can shake hands. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenges, Challenger Z Dog. You know, even when Sonya was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really never felt like one. <laughs> but you, mate, I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Z Dog, and Rapidash, and all the rest of your team. Yeah, ha ha. Yes. Good riddance, Hop. All right, we're in regular clothes. That's because we got to beat the champion next, right? There he is, looking imposing. Oh my gosh. Z-Dog, that was incredible, brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. That's because it's your bro, dude. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win. Those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether they were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got uh, in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Z-Dog. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. All right, that's right, Z-Dog. The real challenge is what's coming next, and I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we go get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but you never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. <laughs> and I, like, this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. <laughs> all right, so head out to the pitch on Wyndham Stadium if you're ready. If I'm ready. It's so at the hotel. We're eating dinner, I guess. And I guess I'll be ready for the fight, right? Might as well. It's been a long episode, but we'll see what happens. Challenger Z-Dog, hey Challenger Z-Dog. Got some time for questions? First question, you and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in, in a sense. Wouldn't you say, how does it feel to have defeated your rival? I'm glad I could beat him. I'm glad I could beat him. <laughs> right, question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? Uh, how do I make fun of him? I can't do that. Uh, there's a freaking sword Pokemon over there. Look at that. Uh, I like to thank him for the great match. I tell him, I like to tell him uh, that he was just the rival I knew he was. Ha! There we go. That he was just the rival I knew he was, because I knew that he wasn't very good. Ha 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 Sneaky way to do it. Question three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. 
<laughs> All right, that's enough. Z Dog's already tired from battle, and you've been asking rather rude questions, says Hop. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. I, I beat those guys, too. Phew, famous people sure have it rough, huh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. All right. Don't do that, or do it. Several hours later, something something's happened. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Piers is here. Oh, great. The kid's sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? Oh, pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see you, your smug look, your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me a good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Rose Tower? Don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do with the Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he be done there at this hour? Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would ya? Neither Z Dog nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. Though I suppose. It's a real problem for me, too, if the finals are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of you little runts. You were good enough to beat me, after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yellow along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant. You're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. All right. Let's go to the Rose Tower, I guess. And we'll do that next episode. This episode, I beat. I, I did the semifinals. I beat Marty. I beat Hop. Now I'm in line to face off against the champion. But I'm sure something else is going to be up first. So we'll see what happens next episode. Thank you for watching this long one. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.